I had this uh, elusive goal of getting to 100 kilos in body weight. Jello Beats, holla at me. Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel and another video. So today we are going to be talking about body weight goals, both when dieting, so coming down in body weight and going up in body weight, so gaining, massing, bulking, whatever you want to call it. Now I have kind of touched on this a little bit in previous videos, but not sort of quite focused on this topic. What I need to contextualize first, or at least define, is the idea that we're talking about body weight end goals, not body weight uh, rate of gain or rate of loss, like the amount you want to lose per week, because that actually does, that is very relevant. That is very relevant. We need to definitely take into account the weekly amount that we're potentially raising our body weight and thus also dropping body weight. But the idea of an end goal, like the, the journey that we're going towards an end result, okay? This is where I don't think setting an end amount of body weight that you potentially want to get to or get, um, yeah, get to <laughs> either way, down or up. I don't think personally that that's a good idea, but we are gonna discuss pros and cons. So first up, as I'm sort of in the con bracket, let's talk about the pros. So positives being is that some of the time when people set a goal, so gaining body weight, they'll need to have an end goal to kind of motivate them to get there. So like they'll think in their head. This is a perfect example, let's talk about me. So when I first got into training, I had this uh, elusive goal of getting to 100 kilos in body weight. And at the time I was weighing myself on a, on a scale inside the gym, so obviously that was just completely wrong. I advise that you weigh yourself in the morning, like nude, after you go to the toilet, before you eat or drink, that's when you should be weighing yourself consistently. However, I was weighing myself in the gym and I just wanted to get to 100 kilos. I'd do anything to get there. And the, the, you know, the issues which I'll move on to with that is that, you know, I, I forgot how I was looking. I was really forgot how I was looking. I got completely obsessed with the number. And, but what it did do, staying on the positives, is that it actually gave me the motivation to be very religious with my meals, very religious with my training, because I knew that I had this end goal in mind. I wanted to keep pushing and pushing and pushing until I got to 100 kilos in body weight. The goal itself was bad because it took me to a point where it was not advantageous for muscle gain, but in a sense, it did breed consistency. And that's what some people can need. So there is some element of a positive to having a body weight goal. Same on the way down, guys. The only time that I do see it totally positive as to having a weight go on the way down is if you have to meet a weight criteria. So be it for a powerlifting meet, be it for a bodybuilding show where you have to fall into a weight category. Now, with some bodybuilding shows, they won't even tell you the weight split. So with the BMBF, they don't tell you the weight brackets. So you just turn up on the day and you can get split into, into weight categories. You have a rough idea but you don't know the actual split. With other federations, they'll give you the actual split. So you say you have to be under this or above this to be in this weight category. So some people can really, really push down their body weight, maybe lose a little bit of muscle just to fill in to the top of a weight category rather than being at the bottom, because obviously that's potentially more advantageous powerlifting and bodybuilding side of things. You want to ideally be at the top of a weight category as opposed to at the bottom, like big fish, small pond kind of thing. So those are the only two scenarios, in my opinion, where it's a bit of a positive. You know, you can, you can get some motivation, consistency, but for the most part, I think that it's not a good idea. So like I was talking about me pushing up to 100 kilos, I totally forgot about the way that I looked aesthetically. So actually, a lot of the time, when someone says, if a coach ever tells you, oh, I wanna take your body weight up to this, 
can actually introduce some slight body image concerns because you're totally obsessed with the number on the scale to the point where you're probably forgetting how well your training is going, how consistent you're being with your nutrition. You're just purely focused on just getting to this body weight. You can become very, very obsessed with just this one number on the scale. And when I was younger, I, I, it, gave, it actually gave me a bit of confidence to say that I would be 100 kilos. But in reality, I was looking at myself and I wasn't very happy with the way that I looked because I was already over fat. I was pushing my body weight too high to the point where, yes, I did get body image concerns. But at the same time, it kind of made me confident when I was enclosed because I knew that I was heavy. It's very weird. And I'm sure that a lot of people can relate to that when they've perhaps set body weight goals in the past. Now, in terms of what this is going to set you up for is most of the time on the way up, if you set a body weight goal, you will set it extremely high and out of reach. And that will result in overfeeding, drastic overfeeding to get to that goal. It will result in digestive issues and it will result in you being in an unfavorable position for muscle gain. We know that an optimal environment for muscle gain is going to be you know, staying relatively, relatively in shape. Um, and, and you know, I don't really like using percentage body fats because no one measures them. I just like saying that, you know, you're, you're, you're staying within a good range because getting too much accumulative body fat is going to result in poor nutrient partitioning. It's going to result in, like I said, really bad digestion. It's going to result in you feeling really crap about yourself and the rate of muscle gain will actually be slowed due to nutrient partitioning. The fact you will be just adding more body fat to lots of body fat. Whereas if you stayed that little bit leaner, not lean, but that little bit leaner, it'd be more, it'd be a more favorable environment for muscle gain. So the idea of setting a body weight goal is irrelevant because you, what you should be doing is pushing up to a certain point, taking pictures, staying very accountable to your pictures and making sure that you're taking them and being honest with yourself and then thinking, right, okay, now's the time to pull it back. You pull back, you do a bit of a mini cut and you go again. And the next time, you know what? You might get a little bit higher up in body weight before you need to pull back again. So it's almost like this push, pull, push, pull. But you, you can push, like I said in other videos, as a younger guy, you can push for way longer than older guys, absolutely because you have the ability to, to pack on more lean muscle mass than they do. And also, you will generally get to the point where you still look pretty decent by pushing up your body weight more than others. Again, quite correlated to the fact that you have a greater ability to build lean muscle mass, given everything else is equated. So that's really the, the idea, guys, is that I don't think that setting body weight goals is, is going to ever be a huge positive in your training or nutrition career. I think that on the way down, you know, again, you're probably going to set, if you haven't got a weight category to meet, you're probably going to set unrealistic goals. We know in the fitness industry, so not the bodybuilding subculture, but in the fitness industry, you know, what, what happens when someone wants to lose weight for summer? They set just an unrealistic weight loss goal and that sets you up for failure. So it's the same on the way down. If you set yourself some sort of silly target, you'll probably end up wasting away and losing a lot of muscle and losing the progress that you've made by working hard in your gaining phase massing or whatever you want to call it. So so guys, I, I just would recommend just, just doing what you need to do when you need to do it. That's the take home, is that you know when you can increase your calories and keep gaining, do it. When you need to pull back, do it. <laughs> Same on the way down. When you're losing weight at the right rate, you can afford to just keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that. When you're shredded inside out, step on stage. Boom. You don't need to say, ah, oh, okay, here's the weight loss that I need to get on stage because you most likely won't know it and you most likely will either overestimate it or massively underestimate it. So weight goals, not something I really, really like, as you can tell by this video. But if you have any other comments, like positives, 
pros and cons or experiences that you've had with body weight goals, let me know. I love to hear them. And uh, yeah, any questions, other questions at all, guys, please ask. And I will see you in that next video. Cheers, guys. See you in a bit.